What's going on, everybody? Um, today I am here with a six-three point guard out of Columbus, Ohio, Daniil Krylov. How you doing, Daniil? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Glad we could uh, get this interview going. I know we had prior issues on Zoom, but um, we're on Streamyard now, so it's all good. Um, first off, I just want you to um. Just let the people know, like, what was your upbringing like and how you were raised? Um, so I, uh, I started, I lived in Whitehall, like, at first, and then, uh, like, all the way till I was, like, I think, like, four, five years old. And then I moved over to, like, closer to, like, Reynoldsburg. And, uh, I lived in these apartments and stuff, and uh, I went to uh, Harvest Prep. It's a it's a school, in uh, in Columbus, and then uh, uh, then we moved to New Albany, and we went to uh, I went to school there with my brother, and we went there for I went there for like four or five years, and then uh, right now I'm uh, I'm doing homeschool schooling, so it's like. Homeschooling is way easier, and I get to spend a lot more time on my uh, craft and my game for basketball. Yeah, that's great. Um, your game, like to me personally, I have your player comp as um Tyrese Maxey. Who would you say your player comp would be, NBA wise? Uh, I really like to model my game after Jordan Poole. Yeah, that was yeah, that was who I had as your um. Your second NBA player comp who I had in mind was Jordan Poole, but um, I just think your explosiveness was towards Tyrese Maxey, but that may be a little biased since I'm a Sixers fan. But, uh, yeah. Um, what do you think, like, Ohio has – do you think there has been a massive impact on your game coming out of Ohio, like seeing the Hoopers from Ohio or – uh? I really, I, it doesn't, it wouldn't matter to me where I really lived or where I was brought up in. I'm, I'll just, I'll work as hard as I can no matter what. And I don't care who I play against, who is like with me, who I play with. I'll just, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I got you, I got you. Um, who would you say is your biggest um, inspiration growing up? This inspiration? Probably my dad. Like that answer. Yeah, definitely got to go towards the parents in that way. Yeah. Always there for you. I know my mom and dad, huge believers of what I'm doing and everything like that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Who are your current top five NBA players? And then when it comes to um, past top five NBA players. Uh, uh, I, I, for one, I got the king, LeBron James. Okay, and then okay. At number two, I'm going to have to say probably Giannis. Then number three, Curry. And then number four, Luka. And number five, uh, let me think. Probably KD. I like that. I I like that top five. Who would you personally like? Who would you say, um, for you personally, is similar to your game? Like out of those five players, out of those five players, so I said LeBron, Luca, Steph. Did I say Luca? Yeah, you said Luca, KD, LeBron, Giannis. Would probably I'd say Luca. Yeah, I definitely see, it. especially with the with the step back shoe though. It's crazy you you step people out of your out of their shoes with those step backs. Yeah, a little snatch back. When did you start playing basketball? And then um, when would you say did you fall in love with the game of basketball? All right, so I would probably say I I started playing in like first grade, I think. In first grade, like. I, I sucked. Like I was the worst player on the team. Like I didn't. I like I wanted to quit mid season, but like my parents said, I still had to finish the season. 
and then like I started to like it a little bit more, but I wasn't really serious about it. I was still young, and then uh, in second grade, uh, I wasn't good either, but like I still liked it more than last year. And then going into third grade year, that's when I switched schools. In, in my third grade year, I I was like my head was way too big. I thought I was like the best player ever. Like I like came. And the, even uh, I was not even playing for like the school team in third grade. I was playing for like the rec team. Like we were playing each other, like the the school each other. And I was still like not even starting on that. And then uh, and then the uh, fourth grade summer, I worked really really hard, and uh, I made my travel basketball team. But I was like I was playing center, so like uh, I didn't get to work on my much so. And then going into my fifth grade year, I developed my shot a little bit. And, uh, like, I was playing way better in AU than, uh, like, school ball. And then sixth grade year, uh, that's when I I really, like, leaped at a big jump. And I, like, in AU, I was averaging, like, 19 points a game. And uh, I was, like, shooting really well. And in school ball, it was like I wasn't doing like crazy, but I, it was way better than I used to. And then uh, I think in se- the seventh grade year, uh, I think that's like right before COVID. Uh, um, I think, uh, yeah, I, I like I gained some pounds, like not good pounds. Like I, I got chubby and like I, I like from my AU team, like I, I wasn't playing good at all that year. I probably averaged like two, three points a game. Uh, school ball, same thing. I would like I act. Oh, actually, that year in seventh grade at school ball, I quit mid year because like the coach was like, like he was he was old and he didn't know what he was doing. So, and then uh, and then I I uh I got skinnier, I got more fit, and then I like I got way better, but like my confidence in game wasn't there. Like uh, like uh the eighth grade year, so uh. I like in school ball. I probably averaged like eight points a game, and I was I was coming off the bench like a six man, and uh, like in the summer and AU is where like like I recently just took off. Like I like I I've been going crazy. Like uh, AU season, I was averaging like twenty one points a game, and I was like playing up a lot of tournaments, and uh, I I went to a couple camps, and got like recognition. And then I just like I I've been just working hard and over this summer and gotten way better. I've been gotten way more confident. So yeah, um, I've noticed your game has been evolving, and you are really taking off as a young player, class of twenty twenty six. Um, I'm excited to see what you do in the future. Um, what would you or sorry about that, um. How was your experience? Was it this past weekend um, at the intro? Okay, so uh, I did the first half. I did really good, but like I, I always, I always like even if I like eat like two hours before something, like I, I'm still like full. So like I ate like I think at like like nine thirty in the morning, and then I didn't eat the whole day, and the intro started at two. So I was like. I was playing so good, like I, I was hitting everything, and then like I just my energy level went down because it was like three whole hours, and like uh, the last few games I I didn't do like I didn't do terrible, but I didn't do my best because like I was tired, but I still got recognition. So yeah, um, what would you say are your top five dream schools? My top five dream schools. Mhm. Uh, I. I want to uh, my top my my one spot would be probably UCLA. Uh and then my number 2 I I would probably go with Kentucky. And then number 3 uh Ohio State. Number 4 Duke. And then number 5 uh probably maybe Alabama. Okay, okay. Um, any reasoning behind any of those picks or? Uh, not really. I just like, I like, I don't really w- uh, watch college basketball. I don't really follow it, but like, I've always liked UCLA, UCLA for, for some reason. So, mm-hmm. um, 
talking about your um, high school career and your 2026 class, and this could go for any class, um, who would you most want to play with if you got the opportunity to play with them in high school? In my class, or is it just like any just class? in general. I mean, you can also make it to like it's like in general and your class. I mean, whatever you want, however you want to interpret it. Uh, I gotta think about that one. Uh, probably, uh, you know, Rob, Rob Gilligan. The, yeah, 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 probably him. Yeah, he's nice and. And he he would set you up well too. He's a good playmaker. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what is what has your experience been like working with um Good Bucket training? Good Bucket's training. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't go I don't go often, but I definitely have a good relationship with uh, the coach, and that 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 was my AU coach last year, and uh, I mean like. She she lets me uh, train there anytime. I don't have to pay or anything because I play for a team. She always lets me know if there's a training. But I mean, I mean the day she's helped me out a lot. So yeah. Um, what would you say is your um go to move one on one? One on one. Mm-hmm. You got someone on the ISO. Okay. What are you doing? I'm probably doing a couple between crosses, between crosses. I'm going hard left, and I do a spin move to the to the right side. I like it. I like it. Um, where – well, this also goes along with the question I previously asked, um, your dream college, but where do you see yourself in five years? In five years? Um – If I mean, if I can, if I go to be this good, probably the NBA. I, I like if they change the rules to to go straight to the NBA. I would like that. Yeah, it looks like they're um going in that direction. I believe next year. So or if that doesn't work out. I I like my main option would be playing overseas first for like a couple years and then going to the NBA. Mhm. Yeah, that's awesome. Um. <clears throat> Who would you say, um, and this is like a loaded question, I know it, you don't have to answer it, but who would you say um, has been your best coach through the years? My best coach? Um, uh, I know it's a lot to like think about and all that. Okay, I'm not. You don't want to upset like, anyone, but I'm gonna say three coaches. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Probably a uh, good bucket. Her name is Coach T. And mm-hmm. then, uh, uh, Jalen. He's like kind of my trainer. He's also a coach, but he like he he trains me a lot. And then uh, probably a coach I had in AU for AU team I played a couple of years ago. Uh, I forgot his name. Coach Harris. That that's yeah. Nice, nice. Um, which one of your highlights would you say is your favorite? Or you could give me like a a top three or whatever. Favorite, maybe. Yeah. Probably, it it doesn't look the best, like like camera quality wise, but like the Neo one, the uh the one where I did a bunch of step backs. If yeah. I had a camera on there, it would have definitely been fire. But like mm. we pay for that mixtape because it was way too much. Yeah. That yeah, that was definitely a great mixtape. Yeah, that was all in one game. I had forty that game. That's crazy. Forty yeah. points. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then final question. Um, out of all the teammates you have had, who would you say has complimented your game the most? Um. Ooh. That's hard. 
it's another one where like you don't want to <laughs> upset any of your teammates. Uh, I played it with him a couple times in the AU season when I was playing up, but probably this kid named Zai is just because he he uh he's a good facilitator and he's always like a pass first guard. And he get gets me open to shoot, so nice. Um before we end the interview, anything you would want to say about like your game or how you're uh gonna be this season? I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna do great this season. I, I just know I'm gonna just let let my game talk and I'm gonna I'm gonna not worry, and I'm gonna just just go with the flow. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm excited to watch you um continue your uh, basketball career, and um shout out to your parents for really letting you lock in homeschool wise and lock in on your craft. Yeah, I know most kids like <clears throat> they got a whole bunch of other stuff going on, and they don't really zone in on their craft. But um definitely shout out to your parents for letting you um take that time and to work on your game and get to the next level. Mm-hmm. All right. I appreciate you for um, doing this interview and uh, I'm excited to see how your basketball career turns out. Yeah. I right, have a good one, Daniel. All right. See you.